During the latter half of the last century, in the rugged hills and ridges of South Africa's Transvaal, gold was discovered. The result was a rushing, roaring tide of wealth seekers from all corners of the globe. First came the prospectors, high of hope, simple of purpose. And in their wake swept the next group, the speculators, the adventurers. Then, as inevitable as nature itself, there came the final ones, the scavengers, the jackals. Let's see. Shanga. I didn't know they were around here. You. That's all we need is to run into Shanga. Is it like this on all sides? No, but one, and then it gets worse. Head off that way and you'll hit wasteland even a jackal couldn't cross. I wonder if she's got any plans after she gets through riding that horse. <laughs> What'll it be? Well, this is a whiskey saloon, isn't it? We sell whiskey. And we have whiskey. Oh. <laughs> Out to you. Give him one. Isn't necessary. That looked like a police patrol we saw as we came in. Of course, they were some distance off. They're in and out. Oh, by the way, uh, where is he? Your commandant. He's around. No, he isn't. He went out to collect taxes or something. I saw him go. 
You fellas planning on being in town long? Depends on what you've got to offer. <laughs> Depends on what you've got on your mind, Sonny. Where do you keep your water? There's a well out back. Better fill them up. All right. I'll uh, take care of my own. <clears throat> Hand me a bottle of that. Uh, a full one. I really would like to know what she plans to do after she's through riding that horse. Lie down, everybody. Why don't you do as he says? Not you. Open it up. Like robbing a kid's money box. Must say, I like that little town. Nice and obliging. Save us the trouble of hanging them. <laughs> Those police just can't take country like this. Maybe they've got sense. Come on. Come on. It is very inconsiderate of old Dirk, getting himself killed like that. Huh. He owed me six shillings. I'd feel a lot better if there were six of us instead of five. This wasteland's an unlucky place. A man needs all the odds he can get. Hey, that reminds me. Couldn't we better be starting back? <laughs> right into the loving arms of the police patrol? Are you crazy? That's a good 70 miles across this wasteland. Maybe more. And drier than a rock. It's just a place, and a place can be crossed. Speak for yourself. I'm going back as soon as it gets dark. Well, that's up to you. There's your share. Make your choice.
Never thought I'd have to come to this, but I guess I'm going to have to trade some whiskey for some water. What are you going to trade me some water for a good swig of real nice whiskey? Give them all a rest. Oh, my poor feet. <laughs> Where they hurt, I didn't know better. I'd say it was going to rain. Stoffel. Yeah, stretch. Bring your horse up here. Kind of noble, aren't you? A horse is a useful animal. There's no use letting him suffer because he belongs to a jackass. Looks like he's not the only jackass around here. I told you we'd never make it. No one said that you had to come. You know, the real funny thing, we'll stop all there. Nearly 300 pounds in his pocket, and he can't even buy himself a drink of water. <laughs> hey, Stoffel. Yeah. See that little old lizard there? <laughs> even he's better off than you are. <laughs> yeah? A lot better off. That isn't right. You had no reason to do that. What's eating you? Just a lizard. Wasn't doing any harm. Say, what's got into you anyway? A lizard. Shut up. All this fuss over one lousy little lizard. If I don't have a drink of water pretty soon, I'm just going to fall down and die. Yeah, it looks that way. shouldn't have done that stretch. You might have hurt me. Come on, boy. Come on. You can make it. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. You can make it. Mm. Come on, boy. No, he can't. I can't just leave him like this. That's right. He's your horse.
think I see a village. Water. We've just come through the wasteland. We need water badly. There's a spring here. But you'll never make it. You just pointed out. We'll make it. It's behind those rocks. At the head of the street. Get up. Water. Anybody home? What about me coming in for a minute? Stay where you are. What are you scared of? Nothing. Then what are you carrying that rifle for? We don't plan on shooting anybody. What do you want? Something to eat. How long are you going to stay here? Four or five days, it's hard to say. It's not far to Punfontaine. You could make it without much trouble. The horses need rest, and so do we. I don't have enough in the house to feed five men. We've got money, if that's what's bothering I don't want your money. I just want you to get out of we here. We plan to, but in the meantime, we can't live on fresh air. Oh, look, lady, I don't know why I'm standing here arguing with you. There are five of us, and we usually take what we want. Not from around here. Hey, that's the way you feel about it. I don't like women. I don't... You dirty little... I wouldn't go stirring up trouble with that girl if I was you, young fella. It's all right, Opa. Your grandfather, huh? 
You the one that taught you to punch like that? It's gonna come in mighty handy when you get married. Yeah, yeah, she's hard as nails, all right. <laughs> the Shanghans used to call her Udalaba, a little tough one. The Shanghans? Yeah. Not bad people once you get to understand them. Any of them around here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, from time to time. Come on, Opa. Just a minute. What about that food? Do we get a piece of beer, don't we? Yeah, I reckon we might arrange for one night, eh, Willie? Seeing as what a flat belly he's got. I'll send a couple of my boys up after it. You shouldn't have given in to him that easy, Opa. I know what I'm doing, Willie. I know what I'm doing. Hmm. Don't feed him, and right away they'll begin suspecting things. <laughs> now you just act as if nothing had happened and leave it up to me. had a look all right, and it was kind of a worm's eye view, eating dust at her feet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you suppose a girl like her is doing in a place like this anyway? The old man's a prospector, most likely. Little loony. Lots of old-timers like that all through this area. No, but her. Well, somebody's got to look after the old fool. Hey, look. <laughs> Kind of pretty, too. Oh, lovely sway to her hips. And the way she uh, tucks in that shirt. <laughs> well, let me give you a hand with that dress. It's kind of heavy. I can manage. <laughs> Somebody ought to help you carry that bucket up to the house. Well, now, wait a minute, lady. You, uh, you don't mean you'd shoot a big, handsome fellow like me? If you want to shoot somebody, well, pick and Stoffel or Mariko, that. You can see they don't amount to much. I told you once. Well, as long as I'm uh, going your way anyhow... You heard her. Sit down. But I was shut, just... Shut up. I got a Shut right. Shut Some people have to be hit in the head with an axe. Now listen. All of you. I'm planning on staying here three or four days till the horses get their legs back. I don't want any unnecessary trouble. Stay away from these people. Listen, you aren't telling me... Yes, I am. I'm not talking just to hear my own voice. I'm ordering you. If I find anybody messing around that house, somebody's going to get hurt. Is that clear? Does that include you, too? That includes everybody. There's that old saloon down the end of town. We'll sleep there. It gets cold around here at night.
you going? Outside. Sleep with this fettered, snoring like a wounded elephant. Turn over. <laughs> Awfully quiet tonight, isn't it? I thought Dandy might be out here. Am I gonna hit the roof if he gets any place with that girl? From what I saw, she'll tear him in two if he tries anything. doing here I'm looking for one of my men I told you if anybody came up here they were asking to get shot I wish you wouldn't keep pointing that gun at me women haven't any business with guns they may shoot somebody they don't mean to not me you know uh, if you pretty yourself up a little bit you might almost look like a female I just wanted to show you how safe you'd be if I really wanted to get rough. You smell! Even animals are cleaner than you are. Didn't anybody ever tell you before that you smell bad? Willie! Willie! Willie, what happened? It's nothing, old boy. It's just... I just caught someone prowling around out here. Did you get him good? I should have. <laughs> it's a good thing for you that she can shoot straight, young fella. Us women would have lost their heads and you would have been a goner. <laughs> Not every girl can miss that close on purpose. Need any help? No. Better get back inside now, Willie. He ain't gonna be bothering nobody else tonight. <laughs> he gonna... <laughs> he gonna be kind of dizzy. <laughs> hey, Willie. How come you shoot him? I don't know. He grabbed me. He made me feel... I don't know. I wish I'd let him die of thirst when he first came here.
What were you doing up there? Looking for you. Evidently, you didn't hear what I said about staying away from that girl. Are you sure you did? Anyway, I wasn't bothering about her. I was just nosing around, following up a hunch. What kind of a hunch? Gold. Look, it doesn't make any sense. An old man and a young girl like her living up here all alone, just for their health. Yeah, sure enough. They've got a half a dozen cradles and a big sluice box, bottom of a ravine, back of the house. A little hut down there. Well, it makes you think it's just not some old equipment like everything else that's hanging around here. Because it isn't like everything else. It's been used recently. So's the hut. At least it's had visitors. Shangan. Yeah. I could smell them the moment I opened the door. All right, suppose they have found gold. What of it? There's more lying around in banks. Any little dad they might have found. Well, maybe it isn't so little. Well, we're not sticking around to find out. I'm moving on as soon as the horses are fit. Yeah, well, I don't know about you, but I'm getting a little tired of this robbery business. I've got a bullet floating around me just here. Some small-time gambler who yelled like a stuck pig just because he'd dropped a few quid. Claimed he'd been cheated. She had. I don't know what I ever told you, but I used to run a well-paying little roulette wheel. Right in Kimberley. Best-looking woman in the district. Looking after me hand and foot. And bang, along comes this greenhorn and puts a bullet in me. And when I got up and on my feet again, the money was all gone. Her, too. So I wind up at down to the heel card shop with one bad lung looking for a steak. But I told him I'd be back, loaded. And I intend to do it. And uh, maybe this is the time for it. I'm not interested. I just thought I'd mention it. Need any help getting back to the bar? I'm spending the rest of the night here. What about the animals? I'll risk it. Yeah, well, they're probably no more dangerous than some women at that. See you tomorrow, Stretch. Can fat your hut and trick, fat your hut and trick, but I'll have fat your hut and trick. Hark to the boss of the club, be pair the yanny bitty hoopful bin. Swadra, all and the incan, swadra, all and the incan, swadra, all and the incan, fat your hut and trick. Oh, now, wait a minute, boss, now, wait a minute, look. I was only doing the same as the other fellas. And what's that? Uh, looking for the old man's gold, like Dandy said. Where's the old man and the girl now? Oh, up in the hill somewhere. Uh, they skedaddled as soon as they heard us coming. Well, put that down and come with me. Eh? All right, boss. All right. Get in there so I can see what you're doing. You fellows have decided on a new leader, huh? We want that gold, that's all. Dandy said you weren't interested, so we took a vote and... and elected they... Dandy, is that it? Well, it just so happens that votes don't mean a thing to me. 
If you want to get rid of me, you're going to have to run me out. But, Stretch, you haven't any objections to being rich, have you? We're not arguing about that. We're talking about who's boss. <laughs> Personally, uh, I don't care who's boss. Just so long as we get that gold. <laughs> now you're talking! <laughs> Well, it looks like they've got gold, all right. That's what I've been telling you. All right, then we'll get it. But my way, understand? Huh. Hey, Willie. There's no sense in banging away at them like that. You're only gonna use up good bullets. If I could just get one of them, they might change their minds. It's gonna get hot up in that hill, so we'll just let some of the fight boil out first. What are we? Bunch of scared rabbits? There are five of us. We can root them out now. Storm them. Go ahead. And I'll leave that much more for the rest of us. I, are you sure you're not worried about somebody else getting killed? Like a girl, for instance? There's more than one way to root them out. You and Gats. You get in the house and see if they got any ammunition. They couldn't have taken it all up there. You, Mariko, you look around the shack. Ooh, that's a hot sun. Almost enough to tempt a man to drink water. He's carrying a flag of truce, so they'll try anything. <laughs> hey, Willie, it don't seem fair to shoot a man who's got a white flag in his hand, now, does it? <laughs> I'll teach them to come around here chasing us out of our house. Oh, wait he gets up closer. Then you can't miss him if he gets nasty. <laughs> This is the only white shirt we have in the outfit. Belongs to Dandy, and he's sort of particular. He doesn't want to get it dirty. Look, I've shaved. Change my shirt. I smell like a lily. I even comb my hair right around that part you gave me. What do you want? I thought maybe you and I could make a deal. The only deal we'll make with you is to get out of Yellow Rock and stay out, or we'll shoot the lot of you. Those bullets of yours, they're not gonna last forever. We found your ammunition. So as soon as you use up the ones you've got, my boys are coming up to get you. At least you won't be among them. You mean you're gonna shoot a man with a flag of truce? All I see is a thief! Look, nobody wants to hurt you. Not if they can help it. But we know you've got gold and we're gonna get it. So come on back to the house. Tell us where it's hidden. Maybe we'll cut you in for some. Ask him what kind of a deal, Willie. You can't make a deal with people like that, Opa. Any kind of a deal is better than nothing, Willie. Anyway, it won't do no harm to ask him. Sit down with your hands in sight! We haven't decided what we're going to do with you yet. Oh, but... Oh, Willie, you dirty dog. Just below the knee. 
Oh, it's bleeding badly. We've got to get you to the house. I've bled before. Tighter. Tighter. <laughs> Somebody's been hit. I hope it's not that girl. I've got a different future picked out for her. I've seen a lot worse than that. Didn't even break a bone. I don't believe there's even a bullet to probe for. Just a hole in the leg. <laughs> uh, probing is usually a two-bottle job. <laughs> You'll uh, have to excuse us, miss. You see, we're used to seeing men get shot. Just that the boys forgot to remember that this is your grandfather. And the only grandfather you've got. Please, why don't you just leave? Can't you see he wants to get some sleep? I think we ought to get this deal settled now. Where's the gold? He can't talk to you right now. Tomorrow, when he feels better, he'll tell you anything you want to know. It's all right, Willie. It's all right. We might as well get it over with. Next thing you know, they'll be twisting my arm for me. Have you ever had anybody twist your arm for you, Willie? Don't feel good. And go get me my pipe. Hmm? I, um, I don't suppose you boys would believe me if I told you that um, we don't have any coal. Hmm? Well, well, that's what I thought. <laughs> You just keep looking for it until you made a nuisance of yourselves, until somebody got killed, now, wouldn't you, huh? Just about. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, suppose I told you that we, um, we do have some gold, but, uh, I'm not gonna tell you where it is. Now, you wouldn't do a mean thing like that to us, would you, Opa? Uh, oh. The things people will do for gold. <laughs> Let me tell you fellas a little history first, huh? Fifteen years ago, when they first discovered gold up here, Mm. The men roared in like a swarm of locusts. <laughs> me and Willie here, well, she was just a baby then, and me, well, I was a young fellow myself, <laughs> not a day over 50. Well, anyhow, we were a little late joining the others, and no sooner did we settled down than the vein ran out. Town dried up just about as fast as it boomed, <laughs> but uh, we didn't go. Well, not because we didn't have any place in particular to go. Oh, it's just that I got something in my brain. You see, I got the idea that maybe they'd overlooked a vein or two. And after a few years of digging myself half to the bone, found out I was right. <laughs> and then it got me some help. Timbu, he's the uh, Shangan chief up here in the district that I got to know. Uh, he uh, lent me a couple of his boys. And things began to hum. <laughs> you know, I've been smoking a pipe for 50 years and I still have trouble with my puffer. <laughs> what were we talking about? Gold. It's a very dangerous thing if you want it out of pure greed. I've seen many a man ruined by it. <laughs> now, me, I had a good reason for wanting it, because Willie here, well, <laughs> I'm all that she's got, and so naturally I had to see to it that she'd be taken care of when I died. Come to the point, will you? What about our deal? Mm -hmm. What's your idea of a deal? Depends on how much you have. Out in the dust. Don't I... tell him anything more. But, Willie, I thought when you gave up that you... 
I had to do something. I couldn't let you stay up on that mountain and die. Look, lady, I've been trying to be patient with you. That money's yours. I've seen how hard you've worked and sweated for it. They've got no right to it. But you don't understand that, do you? Because you're no good, none of you. You're just born takers. You still haven't told us how much you got. It's not just the money. Look at him. He's an old man. All he's dreamed about is seeing this town come to life again with people living and working and stores open and the stage coming through from Putfontaine and all because of him and what he's done. You see, Willie, <laughs> they don't understand a word you said. What about 50-50? 50-50 of how much? 20,000 pounds, more or less. 20,000 pounds? About that. I think we can make a deal. Where is it? Show them where it is, Willie. Go on, show them. It's in the mouth of that mine up there. This morning when you came here, we went up and knocked out a few timbers. It's buried now. If you want it, you'll have to dig for it. Hunt it! Yeah! Back. Feels like it's busted. From now on, I'm going to keep for robbing banks. Is that dandy doing any work, do you? Uh, he wouldn't be any good anyway with that drug of his. Besides, someone's got to keep an eye on that girl and the old man. <laughs> it bothers me. He may keep too close an eye on her. Why don't you forget about that girl? As soon as you get your hands on all this girl, she won't look better than a broken down hag. Oh. That's a dirty lie. She'll never look anything but pretty. <laughs> Well, of all the... You two!
You fellows just won't listen to me, will you? But it wasn't my fault. She came down here swinging herself like a pendulum. Ask Stoffel. Yeah, that's right, boss. Looks like she was asking for trouble. From now on, you stay away from my men. And stop swinging your hips all over the place. so sore about. She's just a girl. I'm not going to argue about it. Van Waarde, want ik kan niet zien de trouwe liefde boer diamanten, trouwe liefde voor lange als goed. Wat betekenen voor den diamanten? Dit kan niet trouwe liefde koop. En ik word no hoed. You still worried about what happened this afternoon? No. Well, if you're mad at me... I'm not mad at anybody. Oh, just thinking, eh? That house up there... keeps reminding me of our place back home, in Mariko. I can just see my mother now. Standing on the back stoop, calling me to come in from whatever I was doing. My father yelling at me. You wash your hands before supper, son, the way you've been taught, you hear? All of us sitting down. Him saying grace, thanking the Lord for protecting us. <laughs> Poor boy. I was afraid that you're in love. <laughs> Who says anything about love? It's just remembering the family, that's all. Oh, yeah. 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 I'm a lonely man. And I'm growing old. Spent my youth searching for gold. Got no wife. Got no family. Got nothing of value cause I couldn't see the true Worth more than diamonds. True love lasts longer than gold. <laughs> What's the use of gold and diamonds? They can't buy me true love. Now I'm growing old. Once I knew a girl, to me she did cling. All she wanted was a gold wedding ring. I swore I would make her one when I struck gold. But I, I never struck it. Now I'm too old. True love. I never found it. True Couldn't wait. Spent my life searching. <laughs> I never could find true love, gold or diamonds. And now it's too late. Please. Why? I thought you were enjoying it. 
We haven't any right kissing each other, you and me. Look, lady, this is nothing that you argue about. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Grandpa will be missing me. You can't be in that much of a hurry. His leg hurts him. He's worried. What about? You running off with all the gold and leaving us with nothing. I gave him my word, didn't I? Your word. What's he doing here, Willie? I don't know. I just thought I'd drop by to see how you're getting along. Sit down. I thought it might ease your mind about that gold if you knew something about me. Oh? What kind of something? Well, that I come from a good family, and uh, when I give my word, I mean it. My people were all farmers, sound stock. The only trouble was that there was quite a war going on all around us, all the time that I was growing up. I suppose you could say we were caught in the middle. Sometimes it seems to me I've had a gun in my hand since I was so high. Somebody shooting at us, or we shooting at them, chasing somebody, or being chased. Then a few years ago, an epidemic got both my mother and father. And I had to take over the farm the best that I could. What there was left to take over. Hmm? What did you farm? I mean, what kind of crops? <laughs> Whatever the good Lord would allow us to grow. That's the way my mother used to put it. Oh, she was a great one for religion, all right. Church was 10 miles away, but she'd go every Sunday, winter or summer. I could read the Bible by the time I was seven. We had one of those thick ones with all the family births and marriages and deaths in it. Why are you telling us all this? Oh, to ease your grandpa's mind, I suppose. With him laid up like that, I could see how he'd be getting a little worried, losing confidence. All I can say is that I'm sticking to our deal 100%. I've seen some pretty powerful lies in my time. Hm. Now, if you ain't telling the truth... It's a Bible over there, isn't it? Yes. I haven't seen one of these in years. I hereby swear in this holy book, and I'm going to go through with our deal to the letter. Young man... If you don't mean it, I can't see any point in your coming in here blaspheming. Now, come here. Shake hands. Well, I guess I better be going. Do you have another name besides Willie? That's short for Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina Adelaide Decker. Hawkins is mine. Roger Hawkins. Growing up in the middle of a war like that, yeah, it's enough to upset any boy. Set him off on the wrong foot. But I've known a lot. Worse fellows than him to uh, keep their word. I'm going to turn your light out now. It's time for you to go to sleep. It's under some loose dirt someplace. I, I think I... 
Yes! Yes! Here it is! Wait! Wait a minute! I don't understand is why they haven't rushed us. Probably they just haven't worked themselves up enough. We better try and find out what they're gonna do. Wait a minute, what about all that gold? You carry it. of you stay here. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. It was quite a meeting you just had. <laughs> the Shanghai sure love to hear themselves talk. Evidently, they're not the only ones. All right, turn them loose on us. They may get us, but we'll get our share of them before they do. Why do you think that I would turn a bunch of riled up shotguns loose on you, especially after our deal. They're friends of yours, aren't they? <laughs> and you sent for them, didn't you? Why shouldn't we send for them? That's what you'd do if you were in our place, isn't it? Well, did you or didn't you? Uh, I didn't even know they were within 50 miles of here. I didn't even know that a couple of them came here yesterday morning. Now, those are boys who used to work for me, and what happened? Well... They saw you fellows up there at the mine, and they didn't see me, and so they got worried, and so what did they do but go and get their chief? <laughs> yeah, that's Timbu, you know, the one I was telling you about. Well, he come in here, and he finds me laid up with a hole in my leg, and believe me, it took a lot of coaxing on my part to convince him that I had done it myself. By accident. <laughs> Yeah, he was all set to go charging up that hill after you. <laughs> yeah, but I finally convinced him that <laughs> you boys was working for me. <laughs> oh, I suppose you give him a little rest, and then a long towards morning, they'll 
start back for her. <laughs> Some girl are up to now. <laughs> Maybe Stretch gave the old man a talking to. He's a great one for making deals. <laughs> it's that honest face of his. One look at him and you say, there goes an honest thief. <laughs> <laughs> now look, for all we know, they may be back. So let's stop gabbing and get in there and load that gold. I wouldn't be in too big of a hurry about that if I were you. Where did you come from? I told you to wait for me behind those rocks, and you didn't do it. Well, uh, Dandy said that... I'm giving the orders around here. We can talk about that later. Right now, we want to know what those Shangan are up to. The old man told him to move out. For good? <laughs> he must have been shot in the head, not in the leg. Well, let's get loaded up and let's get out of here. Just a minute. Before we talk about loading, there's one thing I want to get straight. What about our deal with the old man? Well, what about it? There's a fortune in there. There's enough for everybody, including the old man and the girl. Now it comes. Up to last night, I figured the same way you fellows did. I just was trying to save us a lot of trouble when I said we'd split 50-50 with them. If it hadn't been for those Shangans coming in, I suppose I'd feel the same. But the old man played it square. He stuck to his bargain. If it hadn't been for him, we'd be lying around here dead right now. And whether you like it or not, we're going to give them their full share. If that doesn't suit you, then you've got a fight on your hands. It's a four to one, Stretch. Nobody wants to see you dead, Stretch. We want that gold, and we want all of it. There's plenty more left there. If that girl and the old man want it, they can dig for it. Just the way she told us we could do. I've waited all my life for a killing like this, and I'm not giving half my share to anyone. Give up now and we'll call it quits. Fan out. We've got to outflank him. But I don't think... Who cares the... what you think? You're running up around here. You're hurt.
boys and I had a little argument. About our deal. Couldn't see it your way, huh? No, that's what we thought. Here. Oh, boy, you shouldn't get out of bed. Go away. It's a lot healthier down here. Here, have a slug of this. You should have had him. Ah, that he girl. Nearly drilled us full of holes in that rifle of hers. Come on, let's go back, load up, and get out of here. Spend the rest of your life waiting for Stretch to put a gun in your back? Not me. I want to sleep nights. What do they do next? It's hard to say with me not there to tell them what to do. You've got yourself quite a granddaughter here, mister. Yeah. Yeah, I know. It's her future I'm worrying about. Yeah. say about it. He's gold crazy. Can't tell about guts. He's got other things on his mind. starts giving orders around here, let's get one thing straight. I've got first call on that girl. Understand? Who cares about the girl? I do. All right. Go ahead and take her. All I want is that gold. Now get going. What's going on? Get back in there with them. Just cover that door. Be ready to shoot. If they get you and me, what chance do you think she'll have? On the other hand, if we run off with the gold and leave you still alive, we've got sense enough to know that you'll keep looking until you find us. So we've decided to do what you want. Split with the old man and the girl. Of course, it's not exactly what we'd like to do, but you can't have everything. What do you say? Stand and open the door. That suits me. Come on in. No use bothering these people anymore.
Did you get him? I saw him fall. That good enough for you? That's fine, Gotts. You can't just let him lie there and die. Uh, nothing we can do for him now, miss. <laughs> Funny, he was the only one that was against our coming here in the first place. What are they going to try next? Get each other, that's about it. And winner take all. Where are they now? Uh, Dandy tried to get Gotts at the back of the head, just when he thought he'd got you. <laughs> Made for town, Gotts following. <laughs> I suppose he didn't think I was worth bothering about. Where are the horses? Oh, at the bar where we put the gold. Where are you going, boss? What do you think? No, Willie. You stay here.
Raise your hands. It's all there, every penny we took. Let me have that. No, no, the, the hat. How much did you pay for it? Oh, it doesn't matter. You can have it. How much did you pay for it? I one pound four. Thank you very much. Following them. Well, we did it. So help me. It hurt, but we did it. for it. <laughs> 